Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. And thank you, thank you, thank you. What shall we talk about today? You know, I you, you smile to uh, to hide the pain, but I I we knew this was coming. Let me just put it this way: we kind of knew this was coming. Uh, I, I I got doubly stuck on this one because. I am very, very standoffish right now about stable tokens, any stable tokens. It really doesn't matter what they are. I like Frax. I think Frax is uh, probably the one that I'd be I'd be shoving the most in right now. But I, I'm a little bit concerned because the total uh, market value of stable tokens that are in existence right now is USDC, USDT, uh, DAI, and numerous other ones have... They're uh, almost on a parity with uh, Ethereum, with the total market valuation of Ethereum right now. And this concerns me. It really, really concerns me because uh, we know what most of these uh, assets are, are backed by, and it's not by hard money. Uh, the audits have happened. Not a single one of them actually has a dollar for dollar parity for the amount of tokens that they minted. So I'm concerned. And with that, I've I already got burned on USD, man. Look, you do it once, that that's on me. You do it uh, again, and that is not only on me. That is, I I need to be done with this because I'm clearly not uh, thinking rationally anymore. So because of that, I'm not shoving into. Uh, I'm not shoving into stable tokens the way I normally would be doing in a normal rational market. But see, this is not a normal rational market. And honestly, I don't want to sell anything right now. I absolutely do not want to sell any of my positions right now. I know Osmo's in the tank, absolutely in the tank. But I, I think it's uh, where I think it's about where it should be. Most of the alts have fallen off, 80, 90 percent. So is Osmo. So is Osmo. So I'm not going to change what I'm doing because uh, Bitcoin did what it did, and Bitcoin did what it did not because of a failure of crypto, but because of a failure of a very loose uh, monetary policy by the United States government. I don't want to cross the streams here, all right? I have a whole different channel I talk about politics on. I don't want to do it here, but this is not a crypto failure, all right, this is a CPI of 8.6 with a 7% the month. This is a month over month over month uh, runaway of the consumer price index, which is being brought on by inflation, which is being uh, encouraged by endless money printing as well as very low interest rates. So that has nothing to do with crypto. It has everything to do with the financial world, but it has nothing to do with crypto and blockchain and the fundamentals of blockchain. So I'm not going to pivot every damn thing that I do that I think that I know because the uh, ability to kick the can down the road is coming to an end. The feds will raise interest rates again. This did, this was just futures. That's all this one was. Bitcoin took a pre-dump because they saw uh, 700 point, two and a quarter points uh, negative on the Dow. So they just got out in front of it. That's all. That's pretty much all it was. But it hasn't changed my mind on Bitcoin. It's not one that I uh, really aggressively own, even though I'm, I'm picking up a little bit more of it. But the only reason I'm picking up more of it is to uh, shore up these LPs on the DEXs that I'm on, because any of them that are, are pairing with wrapped Bitcoin, I'm a big fan. If I can do nothing with the Bitcoin, then I don't want it. So this is where I'm going with this, guys. I'm not going to change all of my fundamentals because the legacy world uh, mismanaged their their capital and it's now coming home to roost here in the crypto world. I won't do it. I I, I get it, man, and I I can hear your pain. I can hear your I can hear your uh, anger at me right now. How dare I not sell? I'm not going to because the money is still earning. The tokens, the LPs, everything that I'm in is still generating additional tokens. I wasn't going to sell this year. How about that? I had no intention of selling this year. So what the price is right now doesn't matter to me. But the fact that the money is still going to work matters to me greatly. Huge. It is all that matters to me right now is how much additional tokens I can pick up with no fiat out of my own pocket. I have no problem eating the downs. I don't. I don't like it. And when I could have the ease of use of UST, it certainly boomed me up quick. But 
it's not going to make me fundamentally change what I'm doing right now. I, I, I didn't want this to be a pep talk either. I just want to make it real clear why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm not telling you to. If you cannot handle these swings, get out. Crypto is not for you. This is crypto. But if you can, and you can weather it, and you can remain objective and rational, you're going to come out of this just fine. We need this. We absolutely need a brutal correction, not only in the crypto market, but in the legacy financial world. And you haven't even seen the worst of it yet. We haven't even started. This is just the beginning of it. Real estate always lags traditional finance. It always lags what's happening in the Dow. But it doesn't mean that it's immune to it. So even after we start to get our feet under us with raised interest rates and clawing some of this cash out of the system, real estate is going to be right there to take a dump afterwards. It is going to be hit after hit after hit. But this is necessary because what we were doing could not go on. It has to stop. So either we stop it now or you let your kids stop it. But either way, this was going to happen. But because this was an inevitable, it's not going to make me change my mind on what I'm doing. Absolutely not. I will continue to get into the projects and stay into the projects that I believe in. The token value just doesn't matter. Not right now. Not as long as they're earning. Not as long as I am insulating myself from some of these damn dips. Because if you're not, you are eating 100% of this. Now you're in pure hopium mode because you're taking no action whatsoever. I will never, ever do that myself. I, again, I, I keep getting caught on that, man. I'm not telling you what to do. I don't care what you do. It's your money, your business, man. I do this to show people what I'm doing, and that's it. Yeah, I took one hell of a hit. You want to see the hit? Not that one. We don't care about that one. You want to see a hit? There's a hit. That is one hell of a hit because last week that was $450,000. Yes, I took the hit. No, I don't care. Well, I care, but I wasn't cashing it out yet anyway. So it really doesn't matter. All it says is that I still have capital to work with, and that's all that I need. Give me capital to work with and let us get back to a little bit of semblance of rationality because I absolutely believe we will. If I didn't believe in crypto, if I didn't believe in blockchain, if I didn't believe that Web3 was the future, I'd be gone. I'll make the video and you'll watch me sell everything. But I'm not making that video yet. So what you choose to do or don't do, that's completely up to you. But for me, I will soldier on because that's all you can do right now is just soldier on. Keep the money working and it will work out. If you want to find better investments, that's fine, man. Cosmos has had hit after hit after hit. It has been rough, but I still believe in what they're doing 100%. It's not the only product that I am in. Rule number one, know your investment. Rule number two, diversify. I absolutely diversify. Just because I'm showing you the Osmosis wallet doesn't mean that that's my only wallet. That's just the one most of us understand. So, uh, I don't know if this is a pep talk or a slap in the face, but you have to understand that this is not a crypto failure. This is not a blockchain failure, and that the tech that is still being built on here will continue to be built. This is a uh, this is more or less a fiat crash, not so much a crypto crash. So, uh, you know what? Be of good cheer. You didn't do anything wrong. That's the fun part. That's the, that's the message I really want to do, but I can never do. You didn't do anything wrong. And it's possible in investing when you have so many external influences that are going to be hitting everything and we're so intermingled that it's possible to do absolutely nothing wrong and still lose. This is it. If you were selling tomorrow, I'm sorry. If your whole plan was to get to this particular date and sell, man, I'm sorry. You're down. You're down hard. But if it wasn't, you still got your tokens. That's all I can say on that one. And if you do have those tokens, please turn those tokens into more tokens. It's going to work out for you. That's all I got on this one, guys. Uh, yeah, questions, comments, please leave me some. I, I like to read them. Uh, or emails directly, scottatthepodcast.com, and I'll answer anything that you send me. That's all I got on this one, guys. So until next time, please stay safe. Please be smart with your money. Cheers.